so today we're gonna make a Drake honestly never mind type beat actually I made this beat a while ago but uh yeah we're just gonna break it down so first we have this piano versatile piano from alchemy I use most of my songs from alchemy this is what it sounds like yeah so for that i used i did not use the channel eq i used the compressor this is the compressor but this is the tape delay that i use just for a little bit of uh echo echo, echo. and then i put the vinyl the vinyl is what makes it sound more old the wear is actually what makes it sound kind of like old and worn out kind of more like a sample makes it sound fire and then i added this Last butterfly, another instrument from Alchemy. That's basically like a texture, it's like an extra texture. I didn't really do too much on it, but yeah, this is the these are the settings for the instrument. I tweaked the cut the cut off a little bit just to make it sound more underwater. Put the reverb a bit up and yeah that's basically what i did to it and also on this bus i just have space uh space what the foot is called this reverb. i just put that reverb and yeah then the next instrument that we got is this simple cyclical waves also from alchemy again alchemy is my favorite so these are the i just took out the lows basically and i put a chroma verb on it always put a chroma verb on it to make it sound really big so that's what i did this is what it sounds like yeah. and then this is what it sounds like all together then obviously since it's a house thing i had to add the, the kick next so the kick is obviously just a classic kick pattern i'm gonna play it all together it doesn't matter and i'm gonna go over i'm gonna go over the effects that i put on it to put the side chain i don't know if i did it in the conventional way but it doesn't matter but here's with the bass it's a classic bass it's just a drill bass it goes like a normal just a normal pattern this is what it sounds like this is it alone i'm gonna go through the the the, the side chain right now so this is the side chain that i use i put oh yeah i put an overdrive just to make it sound more powerful and then this is the side chain that I put on all of them, put the bus all the way up. This is the side chain that I used, a little bit strong. These are the settings. And then I put it all connected to the drill kick, which is the kick. So every time that the kick plays, there'll be a side chain on all the instruments. I put it on this, this, and this. I believe I did not put on the drums. Don't put your side chain on the drums, because that's criminal. And then, Let's go to the percussion. It's a pretty simple beat to be honest. It's really not that complicated. And then the snare. Oh my god. This is the extra snare. And then this is the main snare. And I know you hear that on the kick. I just added it to this bus with a little bit of to make it sound bigger and this is what it sounds like together with the drums in this part it's not really like a house it's kind of like a dance hall type thing uh, type of feeling but that's basically the whole beat if you want to know how i mixed it i don't know if i mix right to be honest but this is what the mix looks like i put a compressor first i like first i put all of the volumes a bit down so that it's not um peaking and stuff and then i just put this compressor 
this is what the compressor looks like put the threshold a bit down because i didn't want it to cut the sound too much put the ratio four to one that's pretty high so you add like when it plays you see hold on let me put a yeah so you see it reducing the sound like this and then the makeup i kept it at zero because the volumes were already pretty loud and then when you want when you're putting your master mix you kind of want to put your attack and your release really low so that it doesn't like cut straight away it cuts the sound straight away and then after obviously we put the adaptive limiter to make everything louder i put it on max to make the sound louder and then you just put a loudness just to check if all the volumes are good generally 11 negative 11 integrated is already pretty good like G negative 11 integrated is like loud as hell so i don't even know what happened here it's hella loud that's good though that means that the mix is good because if you can put it loud and it's not clipping and stuff and distorting then it's good but yeah that's the full beat uh, yo see y'all next time oh don't forget to copy the slow down sample kit imagine a world where creativity flows effortlessly where every beat, every note you produce, carries a story of its own. Now, my friends, that world is within your reach. The Slow Down Sound Kit, an unparalleled collection of sounds designed to elevate your music to new heights. It's coming out. I just want a bit more. I want to get rid of 10. Let's say 10 more because there's like already 50 pre-orders but let's get rid of 10 more pre-orders and then i'll release the actual thing remember if you pre-order and you if you pre-order then you get a producer of the year plaque so don't miss out i'll see y'all boys